And the next thing that we're going to have to do is um, we have to modify the rail cover where it goes on this back side, the number 24. I can't remember which one of these that is, but we're going to have to go ahead and mill out just a little section for it to sit over one of these back studs. I believe it's this one here. Um, yeah, Eli, can you grab that other? Yeah, 24 is this one. 24 is this one. Can you grab that other paper that shows the diagram of it? Uh, it's got the pictures. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we'll show you exactly what we mean here. Okay, so the number 24, which is the one back of the block. So here we're looking at, um, that's the where the back freeze plug would be. Looking at number 24 here. And you just have to machine it out so that there's enough room. We're going to be using a little carbide burr to give us the clearance we need. And what they're going for is that. All right, so we've put on, just laid it over here for the sake of getting things test fit. This is the lower valve cover adapter. And you can see on that's number 24 there, the machining that we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna take our die grinder and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear that pocket out so that we can get in there. We will bring it back and show you what we've got, kind of give you the play-by-play -play on it. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory, but just to give you an idea here, you see, using the die grinder, it makes little bitty aluminum chips. Now that, we clearly don't want going in our motor. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take this over to the compressed air, make sure that all of those little chips are off of this thing, and they like to hide everywhere. So if you are using a die grinder and not some kind of a milling machine, make sure that you get all the little trash out of there because you certainly don't want that going down and you know nastying up your cam or a tap it or anything like that all right okay so we have gone ahead and we've used our die grinder to take out a little bit of material here um, you can see that there we don't have quite enough room to be able to get a socket on the nut there so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this guy back off and we will take a little bit more off of that casing and we'll come back and test fit it again. Okay, so we have come back for the next go round and as you can see here, um, we're going to have to take a little bit more off this upper little tab here. Alright, so here we are and I think this is the f as far as I'm willing to take it. If we take a look at this guy here, you can see that I guess it's it's just not going to play ball with this. I don't remember the last couple being this difficult, but um, I'm just going to go ahead. It's got plenty of room now for the clearance around the stud and everything. We're, we're not going to have any issues of it hitting. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. And we've got the head studs torqued down to 125. We'll come back through after um, probably today or tomorrow and just recheck and make sure none of them have settled. And then after the motor is warm, we'll do it yet again um, before this truck goes out. All right, so we will talk to you guys on the next project, and which will be, well, probably go ahead and show you, we've got one of these guys that's not torqued down, so we'll go ahead and show you some of those. Um, we've got oil cooler to go in still, the accessories to go on front cover, and but this guy, is, this guy is coming together rapidly. We'll catch you on the next video.